So as you know, I have recently put a roof over my porch here of my rental, which has worked out really nicely. And now I'm putting in a hose bib. You see how far away the hose bib is? Originally in the 80s, when this house was put here, there was only a bib in the way in the back. This is a beach community, so we want a, a rinsing, rinsing station here. So what I have done is I've connected I've joined two 12-foot, half-inch pipes, PVC, supply lines, okay, uh, with, the, with a half-inch connector. So I've got two 12-foot sections, not unlike this, going from here, just laying on the ground under the trailer, all the way to where I can tee into that line, and I'm going to show you. This is for those of you who don't do this kind of stuff. I'll show you how simple it is. Now... What I'm going to do is I've rigged up with spare parts. That's right, I bought the wrong parts because I thought I had it licked, but I didn't. So I found some. So I've made some connections and I've got a male threaded. Uh, this is all they had. The guy told me all this stuff comes from China and this is all we have right now during COVID. So I'm going to put this up in here in this area. Never mind the Frankenstein rig, and I'm going to, this is some scrap pipe I found, so I'm going to connect here with a connector, and I'm going to elbow in there, and then I'm going to hide all that under the trailer. And then down here, I'm, I bought, or I had in supply, some tea. So, so I'm going to take this tea, and I'm going to tie into that line didn't quite come far enough but you get the idea you see it's going way down there I've replaced all this insulation above this stuff um, so I'm going to tee in right here should be pretty routine now uh, I'll just have to add a little extension I'll come back to that use this piece for extension and what you must do first if you've never done this is find your water line, your water main, which I've done here, and shut it off. I've had to do so with this. I use the main, and you may also find, that's the, the city side, you may also find if you look the homeowner side, you'll find a, maybe a shut off there too. Okay, but that was easier for me to access. So I'll leave that open, water is shut off, back to work. What I will do now is prime these fittings. So we've got primer here, it's very messy. Uh, I don't care if, too much if I get it on this old deck, but you really want to be careful. So you want to just uh, prime the pipe really well. Okay, now you may find other videos about this old trailer. I'm gonna do this with I'm your one-handed plumber. Alright, so those are primed. Now I'll just bring glue with me and I'll be ready for the last step. I gotta prime that a little better. You really want to make a good connection, uh, especially with pressure line. Alright, so I'll redo that when I, my hands are free. And then I'll bring this. And I'll bring this. These are cutters. You'll need some. PVC cutters. Okay, I'll bring that under the house. Here is a good place to cut. So I'm going to cut my line. <laughs> Watch water come spraying out. Oh no, he turned the wrong thing off. Can you see this? Now these tools are not high quality they're probably like everything else made in China so don't expect much and if you're one of those people that thinks that sounds prejudice well you're an idiot okay I got my line cut now I'm gonna let that water run out you just want to let everything evacuate from the line so you don't have any wetness to deal with it's just pouring out from the uh, pipes in the house. Okay, give that a 
minute. Okay, and you see the last little bit coming out. Now you're going to want to make damn sure everything's dry. This side will be no problem because there's no supply to this. This is going to the bib outside. Okay. All right, we're just about done there. Now, you, now we'll, I'll find when I lift this up on this side, it'll stop leaking because it's going to belly out over there and th that will contain the water. So I can dry and quickly cement these together. Get everything ready now. Now, you see the three parts of the T here. I have forgotten my tape measure. I forgot to grab it out of my truck, which is down the road. No biggie. But this is good because this can this will show you how how easily this can be done. So what I've done is laid this uh, this piece that I'm going to cut. I've laid it in place. This is my line. I'm just going to cut right here and couple with this. No need for a tape measure. Those, those are so flexible down there that they can go back or forth or either direction. But I've got it, that one laid about where I want it. And let's put the T in. By the way, to feed this 24 feet of pipe into here, I obviously had to glue them together, the two runs, and run them into under the porch all the way through that lattice on the other side. So then I could feed them in through the underpinning there that I've opened up. All right, everything is primed and I'm getting some glue. This is all purpose PVC. Uh, you can use this on CBC PVC or regular PVC. And you see, I'm just coating, oh, making sure to get it all the way around, both inside and outside. Now, I've got to do this kind of one-handed to show you. that is together. Now I will back my way out of here. Tight, tight little opening here. Now some of you wonder about uh, freezing pipes. Well, here in the south, we're in North Carolina and it gets very cold, but it doesn't get so cold that a pipe under the house like this will freeze. And even this thin stuff, which some dummy put in here, which I should replace uh, down the line. That's thin wall pipe. This is much thicker. Anyway, okay, so you see I've left a bunch of X, excess. This is excess. Now, I know exactly where I need to cut it. I've pulled my excess piece out of the way. Now I am cleaning and priming these two ends. That's right, your primer is a cleaner too. It helps you to kind of wash off any dirt or dust. And it makes it so the glue bonds really well. Okay, and I've already got this piece ready. I'm going to glue it. I don't know if I can do this part one-handed, but we'll see. It requires a little bit of force to get that in there. Okay, now I'm going to have to Join this here to my union. Close your glue up because you will knock it over every time. And your primer. I have glued a scrap piece to an elbow. Okay, so that will be what's coming out from under the house. And then I'll need another uh, coupling here, another 90 degree elbow to come up to here. Now there, by the way, these were 10 foot pieces, not, not 12. And I've, this is, I bought three, and this is the last piece uh, I have left. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have a, some sort of little uh, hose station here. I'm gonna drop this down through this four by four. I'm coming in later to clean all this up and make a bench right here, along here, facing in, of course. And this will get all this will all get tightened up. So I'm going to drill down through this four by four and let this bib rest on top, and I'll have some sort of hose caddy. Here. I 
while I'm drilling, I like to feel down here or to know when my bit is coming through. Uh, don't do that because it might hurt you. Uh, you can also look, you see, and now I see that my the tip of my bit is coming through. You'll, if you're feeling it, you'll feel a little blister in the wood before it pops through. And you've got a little, see how I have a pilot drill uh, point on the end of my rusty old paddle bit, which I sharpened. Um, so this way, when I come through the, uh, I don't want to come through from the top because if I come through from the top, it will be a really jagged, unfinished hole, which I'll have to come clean up. So I'm going to go this way to finish this. Got my hole. Large. And then I made a smaller hole for the half inch pipe in there. Can't really see it, but I don't can see it. I don't have that much mess down here to contend with. Just a little piece of something there. It's nice and tight down here, and it will facilitate this junction. I've now got everything primed and ready to go. Uh, and you see I've opted to cut that back close to the wall so I can kind of tuck my pipe closer to the wall. It's more insulated that way, less opportunity for cold freezing wind and, and the line freezing up and of course I'll come back later and insul insulate the pipe it'll be fine especially close to the house now you see I've got this ready to go I put an elbow on for there and I put a, a, a union a coupling on for here I just have to glue them and push them together now listen to this when you push these pipes together you push it up on there and you hold it push and hold Otherwise, it wants to sort of slide back. No matter what direction you're going, push it on and hold it for a minute. And just within seconds, it'll bite in. The plastic will start to melt together. But if you don't do that, it wants to back off because this glue is slippery and it, and it just sort of pressurizes and moves off. So just hold it for you know, maybe five seconds. All right, I hope this helped you. This is done. Now, even even filming and working, it only took me an hour to add a new hose bib to this side of the house. Now you see how much distance that's given me? In this, uh, in this situation, it would be a real pain in the butt to come down here and use this hose, wouldn't it? You'd want to be able to use it up there on the deck, right? Now we'll have that capability and we won't have the problem of the hose bib being in the way will we it'll be right out here off of the deck and I found this old beat up uh, hose caddy thing well it's just something that you wrap a hose around and it's got a little compartment we may use that or go buy something clean and fresh but in about 20 minutes I'll turn the water on I'll clean up my tools this is my cute little neighbor dog come here Trixie she comes to visit me when I work, but she just won't let me pet her, will you, honey? Just a little too skittish, aren't you? But you're a doll. She comes and lays down and watches me work and lets me watch her. She's just precious. Come here, Jip. Come here. What's your name? Trixie. Come here, Trixie. Come here. Not going to happen, mister. Oh, come on, let me pet you. <laughs> She says, you can put me in on YouTube, but you can't touch me. I don't mind being in your video, but no touching. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, my little friend. Enjoy your visit. Okay, now I have made sure that everything is turned off. The hose bibs are all turned off, you know, ready, tidy. And you want to come out here and you turn your water back on. I've turned it on and watch and make sure that nothing is moving. I've got this little indicator here that would be spinning if there were any water moving through here. So that means to me nothing's leaking. I did a good job. But I've been doing this all many years, doing my own plumbing stuff, a lot of it anyway. So that's what I expect.
Okay. Here we go. Simple as that. One hour, maybe uh, under twenty dollars. You know, stuff lying around. I think this was six or so. We're in business. One of my nice Boston ferns. Boston ferns like uh, I have learned the hard way. A lot of shade and uh, a lot of water, I think. But I had to do this. I had to hang these ferns because my neighbor has a disgusting junk yard next door, which is a real shame. I have to look at people have to look at his junk. You can't see it, but you know from where he is. But our our lovely view is scarred with that. So I've got my fence, and I think what I'm going to do now. I have a an idea, I think what I'm going to do is put a chicken coop right there. And of course, they let their dog run the streets. So. All right, Your Majesty, <laughs> what do you think? I love it. It's going to save so much cleaning. <laughs> you see, you see, guys, this is why we do this kind of work. Ow! For Her Majesty. <laughs> yes, it's awesome. Ah. I'm glad you approve, my lady. Save so much time. Yeah. It's it's a bikini cleaning station. Yes, so, it is. Uh, take your outfit off and let's see the bikini. <laughs> okay. Ah, you don't have one, do you? <laughs> All right, so the guys can clean their trousers, the sand out of their pockets, and the girls can clean their bikinis, and no more sand in the in the house. Do you have trousers, guys? <clears throat> Riches. <laughs> Riches. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dungarees. Uh, yeah. You like the new little seat? Yes, I love it. All right. Love seat. Love so, the love. So seat. how'd you hurt your uh, leg? Was that building this oh. roof? Well, kind of. That and cleaning up brush. So farm that. farm girl helped me build this roof and clean the place up. Yeah, this is so cool. I love it. Good. Glad you like it. We have lots of people that have stayed here before that are coming back this summer. Oh, really? Yeah. It just three, three sets of uh, three groups of people. Yeah. It just has a good vibe, this little place. It really does. I love it. Yeah. I could live here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you for watching, everyone. Thank